If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found forgiveness, O God of Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And I welcome you all locally here as we celebrate this Mass at our hospital Mass for all of our sick. And we join uh, with those on Shalom World Prayer Channel for viewers around the world as we offer this Mass for all of our sick. Uh, viewers on our YouTube and Shalom World Prayer channels. Very good evening to you. And our intention is to offer this Mass for all our sick, for their families, and for those who care for them, and for all who support their care in so many ways. And in this 24 hour period on uh, Shalom TV, we join with the 24 hour Eucharistic Adoration as we pray for the Holy Father's monthly prayer intention for the month of October. Missionary disciples, we pray that every baptized person may be engaged in evangelization available to the mission by being witnesses of a life that has the flavor of the gospel. So we hold that uh, as we continue that 24 hours of adoration on this 9th of October as well. And so brothers and sisters, at the beginning of this mass, we acknowledge our sins and so prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world of mercy in us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times, go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed and understanding was given to me. I entreated and the Spirit of Wisdom came to me. I esteemed her more than scepters and thrones. Compared with her, I held riches as nothing. I reckon no priceless stone to be her peer, for compared with her, all gold is a pinch of salt, and beside her, silver ranks as mud. I loved her more than health and beauty, preferred her to the light, since her radiance never sleeps. In her company, all good things came to me, at her riches, not to be not her hands riches not to be numbered. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Fill us with your love that we may rejoice. Fill us with your love so that we may rejoice. Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. God Lord relent is your anger forever. Show pity to your servants. Fill, fill us, us with your love, love that, so we, that may we may rejoice. rejoice. In the morning fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Fill us, Fill us, us with your love so that we may rejoice. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favour of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. 
For those with their love, let be made to us. A reading from a letter to Hebrews. The Word of God is something alive and active. It cuts <coughs> like any double-edged sword, but more finely. It can slip through the place where the soul is divided from the spirit, or judge from the marrow. <coughs> it can judge the secret emotions and thoughts. No created thing can hide from him. Everything is uncovered and opened to the eyes of the one to whom we must give account of ourselves. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to mere children. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus was setting out on a journey when a man ran up, knelt before him and put this question to him. Good master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You must not kill. You must not commit adultery. You must not steal. You must not bring false witness. You must not defraud. Honour your father and mother. And he said to him, Master, I have kept all these from my earliest days. Jesus looked steadily at him and loved him, and he said, There is one thing you lack. Go and sell everything you own, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then, come, follow me. But his face fell at these words, and he went away sad for he was a man of great wealth. Jesus looked round and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were astounded by these words, but Jesus insisted. My children, he said to them, How hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. They were more astonished than ever. In that case, they said to one another, Who can be saved? Jesus gazed at them. For men, he said, it is impossible, but not for God, because everything is possible for God. Peter took this up. What about us? He asked him. We have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, I tell you solemnly, there is no one who has left house, brothers, sisters, father, children, or land for the sake of for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, who will not be repaid a hundred times over, houses, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and land, not without persecutions, now in this present time, and in the world to come, eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. And as we gather on this Sunday, we commit ourselves to the Lord to make ourselves available to give him everything that we have. And so we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. And so as we gather on this Saturday night, we bring our intentions before the Lord.
We pray for us as a church that we may follow the commandments of the Lord to us to make ourselves available in all we have and in all we are to serve the mission. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We pray for our sick. We lift them up to the Lord, all in hospital, hospice, care homes or their own homes. We also pray and ask you, Lord, to bless those who care for our sick with their gifts and skills that you have given them in so many ways, and also those who support their care. Lord, hear us. I'm joining with the 24-hour Eucharistic Adoration for the Holy Father's monthly prayer intention. We offer these intercessions now for this hour. Merciful God, we thank you for your everlasting love that saved us from eternal damnation. May your Holy Spirit strengthen us to deny ourselves and grow in a strong relationship with you. Help us to be living witnesses every day of our lives by spreading the aroma of Christ wherever we go. Lord, hear us. Good Shepherd, you have told us that your sheep hear your voice and you know them and they follow you. Give us a heart of obedience and filial trust to follow you every day of our lives courageously and to proclaim you even in adverse conditions. Lord, hear us. us. Merciful Father, we pray that all married couples and families deepen their faith and make their families true domestic churches, which are places of prayer, love and forgiveness. May your Holy Spirit make them channels of love and witnesses of the faithful and fruitful love of God. Lord, hear us. Lord Jesus, we pray for all the missionary disciples who are bravely proclaiming your gospel in troubled waters. Empower them with your Holy Spirit and help them to stay grounded as true witnesses of Christ. Lord, hear us. Loving Father, we thank you for the new evangelization which has brought forth many missionary disciples. We pray that your Holy Spirit will empower and make us more authentic and credible witnesses of the gospel in today's world. Purify and make us more conformed to Christ, so that we may become the flavour of the gospel that our world currently needs. Lord, hear us. us. And we take a moment now to bring our own prayers and intentions, the prayers asked and the prayers promised, before God. Lord, hear us. us. And we pray for our deceased. May they come to your vision, Father, where we hope to be reunited when Christ comes again in glory. Lord, hear us. And God, our Father, we make these and all our prayers through he who is our only way to you, Christ our Lord. Amen. So pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, 
For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Donal, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogenus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek. 
a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever, Amen. And at the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory, and glory, and glory, and glory, and glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The rich suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. And 
I invite those of you joining us to make an act of spiritual communion now and those, as those in the church here prepare to receive the Lord at the end of this Mass. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Sweetheart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for, pray for us. us. Saint Joseph, pray for, pray for us. us. And let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the hour of conflict, safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. The world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us.